first off, what's with all this foolishness? It's just a bunch of kids screaming in a parking lot. Like, for real. But I sound like a grumpy old man. And I'm looking at myself in the camera and I haven't combed out my beard in a couple of days. So it's like, I like this scruffy old man. You kids get off my lawn. Like, when did that happen? When did I turn into this old dude? And for this whatever, I like what I like and I don't have time for dumb shit. Who the fuck got time for all of that? You know? So here it is. It's Monday. It's, oh, it's Martin Luther King Day. As a black man, I should be celebrating. I'm, I'm not. Like, hey, dude, good looking out on your contributions. But also, you beat on your wife. And, like, people choose. People see what they want to see and they ignore the rest. That's a bias that we develop as people. And I get that. And Martin Luther King Jr. did good shit. But also, he was kind of a wife beater, and he cheated on her. And so don't give me none of that biblical nonsense, because he wasn't doing that either. You know? Like, that's always been my biggest claim to fame. You can say a lot of things about me, but you can never call me a hypocrite. Because I do what I say, and I say what I do. That's typically how it works. I, I stand behind everything I say. And if a retraction needs to be issued, I can do as such. And I am grateful to have been corrected. You know? I think that's important. So, that being said, yeah, it's Martin Luther King Day. Asia gets the day off with pay. That in itself is worth celebrating. I'm on my way to the store now. So, uh... I can grab some orange juice for my wife. She's still a little under the weather. Putting in an order for that dank kush. So we can sit around and chill this afternoon. So, yeah, that's pretty much where we are. Thursday, this check should clear with the bank. And I'll be able to take care of some stuff that we need to take care of. Then she gets paid Friday. Can set money aside for the rent will be good like yeah I feel good about it I feel good about it let's just get it done you know um no bills are pressing uh fuck around I got a job interview tomorrow at a casino so what they want me to do it's, it's right up the street it's not far so I'll head up here See what they're talking about tomorrow. See how that works out. But yeah, ultimately I would like to get back to work. Four tens would be great. Oh man, that would be so nice. Like three days off of your week. Ten hour shifts. And then it's in the neighborhood. Like it's nearby. So that's not a... So yeah. Things are looking up. It's going to be an interesting year. 2020 is, um, I feel like 2019 was a lot of restructuring and trying to put everything together, get our ducks in a row. It was a, it was a year for behind the scenes stuff. Like on paper, Kari really wasn't doing much other than taking classes online learning a thing that he already knew but he took that and he parlayed that into a teaching job which then propelled him to project manager for a web design company like okay uh oh Asia is calling so I should go but uh yeah it is what it is <laughs>